Hi hey guys. So I'm doing some more resin. Um, I have this board set up with um, plastic on it. Uh, the resin doesn't really stick to this, so it should work better than the scotch tape. And I gotta give it a try. <laughs> uh, I went and bought these embroidery hoops from Michaels. And this one is a 9 inch embroidery hoop. And all I did was I took the middle out um, just so I could get a good circle for my paint skin, which I'll show you guys. Which I love. So that's the paint skin, just making sure you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, you could see kind of. I'm going to do a big circle with this paint skin. I really love this one. Um, this one came from the leftover paint from the feathers, which was a lot of turquoise I had left over, and then the beautiful ochres and browns and stuff. So the paint skin turned out awesome. Um, so all I'm going to do is, so I have this set up. It's perfectly level. Um, which is important for resin. <laughs> so yeah, we got it level everywhere. And uh, so I used some of this flat wire. Um, it's super bendy. And what I did is I just made enough to go around the hoop. So I'll just show you, I'll take it off. Um, so this is the flat wire. I made a little like hanging, I just turned it so it could hang and it made like a perfect circle so it was easy enough I just took the wire and put it around and then just kind of bent it and taped it at the top so that it would stay together and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave this hoop in so it holds its form for the circle just get it around here <laughs> Whoop, there we go and what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, like, I have to make a seal around here. So I thought I would try using my hot glue gun to seal around so that the resin stays inside the metal hoop. And so, yeah, we'll give this a whirl. <laughs> so I think I'm going to, I need something to push down on the whole thing. Okay, well I have a handy dandy uh, <laughs> paint stick, which I was using to help me level this board. So I'm just going to use that to hold this down. And I'm just going to glue on the outside edge of the metal wire to get a seal. It's working. So and it might even melt the plastic, which is fine because I'm just gonna peel it all off after anyway. working better than I thought. So hot, the nice part about hot glue is that you can just peel that off after. So I'm just using this to apply a bit of pressure and then I'm just making a seal around the edge of this circle. Making sure that this stays down.
The nice part is, is that um, hot glue gun <laughs> melts ooh, really fast. So you don't have to wait too long for it to melt. Okay, I think I got it all. So I'm just gonna take the hoop out. <laughs> this part's just sticking up a bit, but the plastic is sticking to it. So I think if I just put something a little heavy on that edge, it should be fine. But other than that, we got a good seal inside. Good. Okay, I'm going to take you guys down and show you a close-up. You can kind of see what I did with the hot glue gun. I just kind of put it all the way around the outside of that metal ring to seal the edge to the plastic. And that way, it's pretty much ready to pour resin inside. <laughs> so we're going to give it a whirl. Okay, so I just have this weighed down a little bit so that it stays low. <laughs> so they're just sitting on the edge here. Okay, but it's, it's on the glue part. But um, I've mixed up some resin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a layer um, so it fills halfway through. And then once it dries, um, this is the pretty paint skin. <laughs> um, what I'll do is once it dries, I'll then put the paint skin in and put another layer. So we're just going to, oh I should grab my spreader. Oh, it's right here. Just going to pour the resin in. I did put some little hearts out in case I get, uh, or in case I had too much resin. <laughs> And left, so what I'm going to do is use it on these cute little hearts. Oh, 
out. Okay, another thing we're going to do is just pop the bubbles. I'm going to lower the heat. Okay, so pretty much it's been sitting for about 12 hours. Uh, a little bit leaked out, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's see me peeling it off. It's still not obviously cured, but it's dry to the touch. Um, so it's a good time that I'm going to put the skin on. Now I did cut the skin larger um, than the surface so that I could uh, fine tune it with the exacto for a round and just get it the way that I would like it. So I'm just going to place it in here, starting with the center, just going to smooth out. The nice part about paint skins is they're nice and pliable. Um, So you can kind of push with your fingers. Get things to reach to the edges. Even everything out. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of cut along the edge with an X-Acto knife. And don't worry about cutting into um, the resin because you're just going to be putting another coat on top so you can see how it's indented inside. Beautiful. Just make sure it's all down, but that looks really awesome. So you guys can see that really good. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. Now I will have to put another coat on top and then let that sit for a while. Just trying to, <laughs> Get that piece off. These were the hearts, which are dry to the touch but not 100% cured yet. But they are looking pretty cool. You can see with the light. So now I'm going to mix up some resin and then put the top coat on.
but it's looking really good. So it's a little bit of a few step process, but I think it's going to turn out super awesome. Excited. Okay, so I have the resin mixed up, mix it for three minutes, and now I'm just going to pour, I'm going to get this first two, and resin everywhere, <laughs> just going to pour it on, hopefully we have enough here, so that it'll bubble up. I'm just going to get the bubbles with the torch. See a few more bubbles. So I'm just going to try and get them from this side. Awesome. Now I gotta leave it dry for 24 hours and then I can peel all this off. So stay tuned. <laughs> all right, guys, so here's the final project. Oh, there's charcoal. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom in. I think it looks pretty awesome. It's gonna make a super nice art piece for the wall. But yeah, I thought I would just show you guys. It's super nice and hard. So you can kind of see. It's all nice and shiny. That's the back. <laughs> Um, basically I just have to polish it and sand the edges a little bit, but other than that I think it turned out pretty cool. So there's another paint skin with resin. <laughs> <laughs> 